Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Nashville. I'm coming to you with a, another list that I put together that uh, I'm trying to help you guys to know which car is right for you and then definitely uh, differences on different generations, model years, things like that. Obviously, I'm standing in front of the, the uh, 2021 Highlander here, uh, which is the same body style that it was in 2020, which changed uh, from the 2019 body style. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you 25 things that I came up with here that you might not know about the Highlander, both current and previous generations. So 25 things that you might not know about the current Highlander, all right? So first off, we're going to just kind of take a look at this Highlander here. And what you're going to notice, this is the uh, fourth generation Highlander. Uh, this one was changed, like I said, in 2020. All right, so this is a 2021 model, but um, there are still 2020s that you can find new, of course, uh, if you're looking for them. But um, uh, like I said, this was from 2020. The previous generation was 2014 through 2019. Um, the second generation was 2008 through 2013. First generation was 01 through 07. And all generations had available all-wheel drive. All right, so um, that's your number one thing there. So number two, there is a hybrid and a gas version of the Toyota Highlander. So you can get uh, the hybrid version of this. Um, and let me see, so I've got actually a hybrid one that's over here. So um, the previous generation had a six cylinder uh, that matched with the hybrid. The current generation has a four cylinder that matches with it. Um, so it, the current model has the 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid, six cylinder uh, non-hybrid is a 3.5 liter gas. Uh, the previous generation, so the, the, 20, uh, the one that was 2014 through 2019, offered a four cylinder uh, option in the non-hybrid and a six cylinder option, in, or six cylinder was standard in the hybrid version. The four cylinder was a 2.7 liter. Um, in my opinion, it was a little bit underpowered for the size of the vehicle, but uh, there were a lot of people that liked it. So um, definitely a, uh, a good uh, good option if that's what you were looking for. So, um, but that was only available on the L version, all right? So um, as I'm just standing out here by these Highlanders, kind of giving you guys a look here. So um, in uh, 2017, the Highlander went from the six-speed transmission to an eight-speed transmission. Same thing that carries through today. Um, is that eight-speed transmission? Um, it gets uh, you know a little bit better fuel economy, a little bit better uh, of the zero to sixty times uh, once they did that. So now it's something that I love to show people: the Highlander is the only Toyota that has this, which is actually a washer that washes the back uh, backup camera there. So I believe some Lexus models have it, but it's the only Toyota that has it and it's on all trim levels. So if you, you know, they're all going to have backup cameras. If you get a Highlander, you are going to be able to wash that. Now, how do you use it? Easy. Just basically, uh, turn on your rear washer for the rear window and it will wash your backup camera. It's one of my favorite features on it. I don't know why I like it so much, but I just do. So, um, that being said, um, now I've got uh, number six here. The Highlander was originally built on the same chassis as the Camry. All right, so um, if you look at uh, at the Camry, um, you know that it's a little bit smaller. The older Highlander was a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. Um, as of the third generation, they switched it to the Avalon frame. So it was built on the same frame as the Avalon. Now with the 2020, uh, they actually switched it to the TNGA K platform. So TNGA stands for Toyota New Global Architecture K platform. So it's the K platform, um, and then they obviously adapt it. So what else is on the K platform? I'm glad you asked. All right, so it's got the uh, Camry RAV4 Sienna, Avalon Venza, Lexus ES Highlander, um, and then the Harrier, or, uh, which is one of the overseas vehicles as well. Um, so those are on there. So um, definitely they've adapted it to where more vehicles can be on the same base platform and then they adapt that platform for each individual vehicle. So um, really great. So now I will show you too, um, kind of looking at some of these. The back hatch is a carbon fiber material now. So it actually is lighter than what the old one was. It goes up 
three seconds faster than what the previous generation did. Um, and that is a big, big difference. So um, just a, uh, and, and there was, there used to be, by the way, a little button that was like over here. And what that button did is it actually opened the back glass. Um, there's a lot of people that like that back glass but uh, it had an issue that if you popped it, the back gate wouldn't go up and down and people would actually bring it into service saying, my back gate's broken. And the service advisor would open and close the back glass and say, I think you're fixed now and it would be fixed. And there was a lot of complaints about that. Now I posted a video about it and a lot of people said, well, why don't they just have it on the dash where it says, hey, that back glass is open. I think that would have been too easy. Um, just saying um but uh, they did eliminate that back glass but they did make it to where the back end of the highlander and i will show you this one um to where the back end of this highlander uh does go up a whole lot quicker than what it used to and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pop the keys out of here um you'll also notice that this new generation by the way they moved the mirrors to where the mirrors used to be up here, right? They moved the mirrors down to the side there. Uh, by doing that, they actually created a less blind spot. And that is something that is really good to have when you're in a car is a less of a blind spot. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit this. You're gonna see the, uh, the um, back of this is going to go beep beep and it's going to uh, lift this back gate. And I do see the floor mats in there. They might come out, but who knows? But you can see how fast that gate goes up and and very quick up, very quick down. It's just a very, very fast, fast gate. All right. So um, just like I said, very awesome. So um, all right, looking back at my list here. So um, I'm up to number eight here. So this is one of three vehicles that has Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. And as of this, that's as of this video, I, I believe Toyota is gonna start adding it to more, but uh, as of now, there are no additional um, vehicles that actually have it other than this, the CHR and the Camry, uh, the 21 Camry has it, all right? So 21 CHR, 21 Camry, 21 Highlander of 2.5. Um, it has a pedestrian avoidance system for if you're turning and there's somebody in the crosswalk, it'll help you avoid that pedestrian. Also has a T-bone uh, avoidance system to where if you're uh, turning and somebody is likely to T-bone you, it can actually stop you from making that turn to keep that T-bone from happening. So um, this, and, and also has the curve speed reduction for your dynamic radar cruise control, um, which is part of the safety sense system as well all those things i've got videos on so trying to keep this one a little bit shorter but just give you kind of the the nuts and bolts of it here so um but this is like i said one of three vid, uh, three that had this the third generation only had or, or sorry let me back up the 2020 did not offer that uh the 2020 had safety sense 2.0 2.5 came in the 21 and then in the previous generation from 17 on so not even the whole generation but from 17 on, it got Safety Sense P, um, which uh, you can look at my Safety Sense P video and kind of get an idea of what's on there. But it had Safety Sense P from there. Prior to that, it had the um, the five star safety system, which is still active today. But it, that was the uh, the safety system that was on the previous generation for that. All right. So now I will say all trim levels from the 2020 up. So 2020 up will have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa capabilities. The previous generation didn't have any of those, although there was a download that was pushed, uh, and I believe it was to the 17 and newer, which actually added Amazon Alexa to it. So that is something else that uh, you can definitely check out. So, um, and I'm gonna walk over here, I'm gonna show you, there's a couple of previous generation uh, uh, the third generation Highlanders over here so we can kind of take a look while I'm uh, talking to you about this one. Obviously, I am uh, um, focusing a little bit on the newer one here a little bit more just because obviously I'm, you know, that's what's, uh, what's predominantly out. So if you look over here, you're going to see right here, this, by the way, is the, uh, it's the super look. So the reason they've added that, that look and that line to it is because it actually matches the lines of the Supra. So um, a lot of people don't realize that that's actually what it was. 
and they have moved the other uh, Highlanders that were down there. So I stand corrected. The other Highlanders are somewhere else right now. So um, I had some older body styles. Uh, the body style really didn't change a ton. Like I said, they moved the mirrors and things like that, uh, but it didn't change a ton uh, between the two body styles. So um, now your LE and your L, so the L is the base level and your LE are the only ones that have the cloth now. Um, and then above there, you're going to have uh, the Softex leather and the XLE and everything above it. Um, and that was true previous, but there was an LE Plus option that put a different material on the, uh, on the inside. And, and actually, I know where some other Highlanders are, and I'm going to kind of walk that way. So bear with me as I walk that way. But I'll keep uh, mentioning to you guys uh, or talking to you guys about uh, what we're uh, looking at here. So um, I will, uh, you know, and you see some of our used cars beautiful used cars here so um, but I'll walk up this way and kind of see if I can uh, point out a couple of the previous generations for you so um, actually I can see one that was up there it's already sold so um, but uh, anyway so um, and actually now I need to go back to the other one but there's a floating roof design on the new ones I'm just going to kind of you guys I, you know I'm all over the place in the way I do these sometimes so I want to show you the floating roof design and I might just hop in one of these and uh, take you up um, just because it's the next one on my list. So what they did is they actually, they have black around the roof and they, um, around the uh, roof pillars, I guess you can call it. Um, it's known as an A, a pillar, um, but I'm just going to pop back over here. I'll drive us up there maybe here at the end, but uh, obviously it's not too hard to see some, uh, some Highlanders out there if you're looking for a picture of them, but Anyway, so if you look at this black right here, all right, and you look at the black that's there, the dark vehicles, you'll notice they don't have it on here. But if we go to the white vehicle here, you'll see this right here is actually meant to make the roof look like it's floating and to look like any of those concepts that you see where it, it wraps around the uh the vehicle you always see it in the, the um, windows are always like jet black all the way around all the concept cars that's just actually where that uh, idea came from from what i understand so um but that's the floating roof design that's on the new ones um just yeah like i said very nice so now i did actually want to show something else while we're down here too so the xse is actually the white one that i opened here so the xse was not available in the 2020 but it was available in the 2021. So they did away with the LE, or sorry, the LE Plus, did away with that trim level. And this, I guess you can kind of say this replaced it, but not in the same position, put it that way. So they have the same amount of trim levels as they had before, but this one is a little bit different. And um, one of the main things that's different in it is exactly what I'm about to show you here. This one can give you cockpit red interior, all right? Cockpit red interior, very, very beautiful interior guys so if you guys like it i know you'll like it but if you don't like it you probably don't like it a lot so um to each his own on it but it's only available in the xse beautiful the red stitchings carried all through and all that but like i said this was not available in the 2020 only available in the 2021 all right so that is uh really cool too so um also you have five usb ports that's as of the 27 uh sorry 2017 model if you look down here you'll see usb ports are right there all right so now and in the xle and above in the uh previous generation you actually had a plug back there too so um the other usb ports pardon me the other usb ports are actually in the center over there Give me an idea right there and then the one to the left is actually the one that plugs into the radio so that's your uh your radio so the um also something else about the rear door is the rear door is also height adjustable 
So I forgot to tell you that as well. So I had actually wrote that as number 15 here, um, that the rear door is actually height adjustable to where uh, you can actually change it. Like if you have a garage or something like that or a carport and you're worried about it going too high, you can actually change it to a height uh, that makes more sense, all right? So now I do wanna point out something else too, is that the previous um, generation of the Highlander had a 6.1 uh, inch screen. This one has an 8 inch screen, but you also have the ability in the Limited and in the Platinum, and I should be able to find one here that would have the, and it's right here, and we'll just kind of peer through the window, but would have the 12.3 inch screen with bird's eye view. So um, that's the 12.3 screen. It is uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool. It's the first one that they did that on. It's now also available on the Venza, but the Highlander was the one that they introduced it on uh, in the Toyota lineup. It is, it's been on the uh, Lexuses for a little while, but it's now been carried over to the Toyota lineup. Um, so that's actually pretty awesome as well. So um, now this one's a Platinum, all right? And I do wanna show you in the Platinum, you can see up top there, that it has a panoramic sunroof. So that's over the front and the back that you have a panoramic sunroof. Um, so you have, um, like I said, that's only on the Platinum. Now the previous generation, it was limited platinum all right so whereas this one it actually shows you platinum right the previous generation it would say limited there and then you would actually have the platinum package on a limited so now this one's actually it's called the platinum um just straight up right so that's what that's called there so um now also wanted to say you can get a seven or an eight passenger option in most of the trim levels on both this and the third generation um, but in the previous generations, they actually limited the ones that you could get on the higher levels. It was almost impossible to find like the bench seat in the limited, um, just because they made so few of them. The XLE, they made about 50, 50, and then you got to the lower trim levels and you actually would have the bench seat, um, predominantly on the lower levels. The L you couldn't get without the bench seat and the captain's chairs were all that you could get on the platinum now you can get captain's chairs on the platinum um the l i still believe it's all bench seat actually to tell you the truth there but um i know you can get the uh bench on the platinum now where previous generation that wasn't even an option so um so now um do want to show a couple other things here so um, now I'm up to number 19, trying to get through it here quick, trying not to have as long as videos I did on the RAV4. I'll do my very best on here, but uh, definitely want to show you. Uh, so I'll show you, if you look down there, you're going to see where the parking brake is, right there, and brake hold. All right, so you have an electronic parking brake, and then you also have the brake hold system, all right? So um, the brake hold will actually hold your brake at a stoplight, it will keep you from uh, rolling forward. As long as your seat belt's on door closed, it'll keep you from rolling forward. Electronic parking brake's exactly what you think. You put it in park, that bar parking brake will engage. Put it in drive, it goes off by itself. You don't have to actually engage your parking brake, but your parking brake will automatically engage unless you set it to off. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that on this one, but there is a way to do that. And you can set it to where it'll never engage. So if you didn't want it to engage, you can set it that way. So um, now I do wanna tell you as well, that uh, you also have a standard LED headlight on this, this vehicle. So if you kind of look, it's a focus beamed LED headlight, that's standard, um, that's on the uh, new 2020 and on the ones with the, um, with the uh, fog lights, those are gonna be LED as well. Previous generation did not even offer an LED um, light on any of them, all right? so. That is something else to, uh, to consider. Um, it's a little bit brighter of a light, so a lot of people like it a little bit better. Always caution you that it does not melt snow and ice off your lights if you um, are uh, hoping it does that in like a colder climate like they used to. It doesn't actually do that. So um, now I did want to notice number 21. I did want to note something that I actually was uh, uh, kind of looking here. So the Highlander was named the best family car by Kelly Blue Book. Uh, was also, and this is the current generation, also was named best resale value in its class by Kelly Blue Book. And also the uh, hybrid was named the best hybrid 
um, and electric SUV for families by U.S. News and World Report. Um, so it's already getting awards and accolades. It's just uh, it, it's gonna be around for a while, and it's a great one to have. So um, did also want to notice something else here. Um, I'm gonna shut this door, and I'll pop this one for here for you. If you look here, you'll see these sunshades. These are standard. All right, and they're for your second row passenger all right and they're they're going to be standard on the xle and above and that's both in the current and in the previous generation that they're both standard there they uh connect a little bit different on the top in the previous generation um but uh they are both there and they both work really well um, my daughter i can tell you when she was born uh hated the sunlight to come through um so if the uh, sun was out she didn't want the sun on her face. Those sunshades helped a lot. So, um, also, uh, the smart key system. If you look here, you'll see the smart key system on, this is the version for this one. Um, I, You guys that follow me know that I have a 2018 Highlander. I will show you the previous, I'll pull my own out here and show you this is the previous look for the smart key system. What's different? Well, there's a lot different, all right? so in the smart key system of the current one you can do the exact same thing that you did the other one you can lock it by touching that you heard it just lock so now you have these doors are locked obviously this door is locked to unlock it you just put your hand back there and you'll unlock it right but if it's locked if you have this shaped key you can actually put your hand back here hold it three seconds and it'll actually lock un or unlock the rest of the doors so that's a great, great feature that you have. Um, also, the smart key system works. Um, if you're back here, there's a little bubble that's back here. You can hit that button and you can actually lock all your doors by hitting the right button that's there. It's a little bubble there. So that's part of your smart key system. Um, and uh, push button start will be standard on all grades of this system, all right? Or all grades of this um, generation. The previous generation you had to get to the XLE in order to get the smart key system and to get the push button start and it was standard at that point all right so the other thing I want to tell you guys is the blind spot monitor in the mirrors and your heated mirrors that is standard right blind spot monitors right here and your heated mirrors that's the icon shows your heated mirrors that is standard on the 2020 and above Highlander um, you had to get to the XLE in order to get the uh, blind spot monitors on the previous generation uh, your heated mirrors uh, if i remember correctly was standard on the entire uh, generation as well for the previous but i could be wrong it might have not been on the l so um, if there's a difference there then let me know um, did want to also note that uh, when we're and if i haven't said it already that on the ones that have the back window that goes up the l has always been stationary might have already mentioned that i just uh, i've been researching this for a while didn't want to forget to say that in the video because I know you guys will call me out. So uh, last thing I want to say, number 25, is the current generation has a eight-way power seat on the L, the LE. Um, and that's, if you look down there, you'll you'd see um, you have the power seat. So eight-way power seat on the L, the LE. Your XLE and above has a 10-way power seat. And that would be um, uh, also including lumbar on your XLE and above and a four-way power seat on the passenger side um, in the XLE and over, all right? So um, now in the previous generation, you had a 10-way power seat on the XLE and over on the driver's side and a four-way on the XLE and over on the passenger side. So. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm not going to claim that this is everything that you wouldn't have known on the Highlander, but what I did want to tell you guys is that I spent some time putting this together for things that uh, you might find interesting. Hopefully this video has been interesting for you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, did I leave something out that I shouldn't have? Um, I, I'm sure there's probably something there. Like I said, it's something that's... Uh, um, I just wanted to be accurate. wanted to try to remember as much as I could that... Uh, um, and, and then all this is is notes that I've gone over and, and I kind of elaborated on my notes. So 
Um, hopefully it's been entertaining for you guys. Let me know if there's something about the Highlander that you really love. Let me know if there's something that uh, I forgot because uh, I'll put it in the uh, description there and give you credit if, uh, if there's something that I forgot. Uh, just like and comment. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. I plan on doing a few more of these. So uh, just kind of showing you guys uh, a few more things that you might not know about some of these cars. Um, I know I said I was going to walk up there, but uh, it looks like the Highlander that I thought was up there is gone anyway. Um, but like I said, the previous generations, uh, there's there's pictures out there. You guys can kind of see what I was talking about on them. There's a total of four generations. There's not a lot. So um, it's not hard to find the differences between them uh, in overall look on the outside. So hopefully I've... Uh, I've giving you guys some food for thought here on the new Highlander on the previous generation Highlander um, if you're looking at a used one hopefully I've helped you out there as well um, I always try to help you guys I'm definitely a Toyota fan I always try to uh, you know I, I think Toyota is the best and there's there's no hiding that so um, I always try to give you guys the information that you might not know. So Steve Watts, Bima Toyota in Nashville. You guys want to come down, want to buy a car? I'd definitely love to help you. So definitely reach out to me here at the dealership. I am more than happy to help you guys uh, with your new car. Um, out of towners, I love you guys too. So appreciate everyone of you guys. Definitely like, subscribe, comment. Um, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers. We're about uh, 15 off right now as of last check. So appreciate everyone of you guys that helped me get to the four. And then uh, after that, we're going to go for five and, and go from beyond there. So um, building it as we go here. I appreciate everyone of you guys. And I'm going to stop talking. Well, look at this beautiful car and I will sign off. You guys have a great day. Steve Welch, Be Toyota. Like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.